Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I'm going to be talking to you about jury duty. I actually just got back from jury duty, so I want to give you all my tips and tricks and knowledge while it's still fresh. Most of you guys might be watching this because, let's face it, we don't want to go to jury duty. Some people feel that it's their civil duty, so they're really pumped up about it. It's a day off of work. If you're salary and you want to go to jury duty, cool. Absolutely fantastic. I'm not going to judge anybody or condemn anybody for not wanting to go. I didn't really want to go either. The process kind of unraveled. It got a little bit interesting the more effort I put into it. But the first thing, of course, is you get this card, jury summons, and the first thing you dread it. So when you first get this card, you have two options. Option number one is you call the number, you call your group, you find out if you even have to show up or not, and you just take care of it. You go through the process. We'll get into all those details in just a second. The other option is let's say you have something coming up and you want to postpone it for a certain period of time before they send you another notice. This is possible. What you have to do is you have to go online and my particular one is a different website but it'll be eJur. Your card will have it right here on the bottom. You go on the website for the court and you can postpone it up to a year. Now everything I'm going to be talking about will be probably the same for all 50 states but I am in California so everything I speak of will be similar but the details not precise so you'll have to look into your different state so you can postpone up to one year one year ago when I got this summons it was gonna be right around the time I was gonna take a sheriff's testing I was thinking about being a sheriff for my county and so I went to go do the physical fitness test the written test etc and I wanted to push it back. The furthest I could push it back was one year from the summons date that you were supposed to, I believe, phone in initially. So you can push it back one year. If you have a vacation coming up, if you have something big planned, a big company meeting that you cannot get out of, if you're applying for a new job, postpone it, push it back. Don't just rip this up and throw it away. Push it back if you have to. You don't have to do a year. I believe there's a certain time period like a month, three months, six months, but maximum is one year. Now, you're disqualified from jury duty if you have had a felony on your record. You cannot be on jury duty, so you just have to write into the court, call them, let them know that you have a felony. You can't and you don't have to do jury duty. Another thing is when my wife, before she came a US citizen, she was just a green card holder and they sent her a summons. Well, she was disqualified. She's not a US citizen yet. She is now, but she wasn't at the time. We cleared it up, real simple to do. All the information is on the card if anything like that happens. Now, another thing is, Let's say you've moved and your summons comes to a different county than you live in. My summons came to my business address, which is my parents' address. But let's say, even though I still live in the same county as my parents, my business address, if I lived in a different county, then you cannot be a juror because you're summoned for that county. Normally, it's where you're registered to vote. So I'm registered to vote in the same county and all my voting information goes to my parents' house is my business address because they never move and I do. So backing it up a little bit, call the number. Last time I got a summons, I called for like five days in a row, didn't have to go in. But sometimes a case does come up and I called in and I had to report the next day. I had to report at 9 a.m. And of course, they just put you in a big room, bring your laptop, work. I was actually editing a YouTube video while I was doing it. They make a few announcements. And then my name was chosen. A big room, probably 150 people or something like that, all crammed into one room. You can bring food, you can bring drinks. They have wall plugs, plug it in. They have vending machines for coffee. So I was chosen to be one of 60 jurors for the stage two. Now, if you do not get picked for stage two, they will probably let you go before lunchtime. And I'll leave it up to you if you need to report back to work or take the rest of the day off. But half those people in the room got the rest of the day to be free and clear. You do not get paid for your first day, only starting on day two, which I'll get to in just a second. So 60 jurors in my case were picked. We got a long recess. It was like a three hour lunch. We came back at like 1.30 p.m. We go in the room, the judge talks a little bit. Everyone's kind of stiff and nervous a little bit. And then they called up like 15 or 18 people to the actual jury box and that's the jury selection. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. The judge understands that nobody has public speaking. A lot of people are nervous, but they do make you speak in front of 60 people plus lawyers plus the person that's the defendant in the room in this case it was a criminal case plus the clerk 
plus the deputy sheriff, plus the judge. There's a lot of people in the room. You got to get pretty interesting. You got to talk about your life, your work, any prior um, problems with the law. Obviously, you're, you should have bowed out a while ago if you have a felony. He'll remind the jury, are you a resident in this county? Do you have a problem speaking English? Three people in the room in the jury box were actually dismissed because they couldn't understand English as well. And then they go into a lot of examples about like, hey, this is a criminal case. Do you have a problem or anything in your past that has influenced this particular case and your judgment on this case? In my case, I won't go into details. The case is probably well over with, it was like two weeks ago, but in my past, I got in trouble similar to this, knocked down to a misdemeanor, praise the Lord. The officer gave me grace. So my past and something that happened to a family friend affected obviously my life in general. So he asked you, are you gonna judge fairly based on your past? So again, it's up to you, speak the truth. I'm not telling you how to get out of being picked in the box, being picked in jury duty. I would say just be honest and be clear, but there are ways of, if you are in the box under being picked, there are ways to get out of it. But again, I recommend being fully truthful. He also asks you if it's gonna be a financial hardship or I shouldn't even say that, a hardship, they say. Now, if you're the sole caretaker of an elderly or a baby or something like that, again, you can mention it to him. If you forget to mention it to him, I actually heard a couple women talking to the deputy after the first day and they say, listen, I don't have a babysitter. I can't, I, I can't do this. I have to be with my child. I can't afford a babysitter. He wrote the name down and I believe they discussed it and they dismissed. And here's a couple tips for you. Again, I mentioned that my card came to my parents' address. In California, they pay you 34 cents per mile and they already have the address in the system. I live quite a bit further than where my parents' address was from the court. Not to be greedy, but I'm like, well, I mean, if they're gonna pay, they're gonna pay. I might as well ask the person if they can change my address. They actually were able to change my address to my resident address and pay me accordingly instead of where they sent the summons. So that was fantastic. Day two, starting day two, they pay you $15 a day in California. You'll have to check your state and 34 cents per mile. Again, starting on day two. Now, starting on day two, we had a report at 9 a.m. and the judge even said, get there accordingly. There's gonna be traffic. There's gonna be morning commute. Get here on time, a lot for that time. Two people didn't show up out of the 60. There was only 58 that checked in on day two. The judge wanted all 60 of us to come back because they couldn't choose the jurors on day one. We had a report back at 9 a.m. on day two. Two people didn't show up. Immediately, the judge briefly talked with people, and then because everything's recorded in the room and you have to speak up, he fined each of those people $500. Make sure you show up. If you've reported for jury duty, don't just put it aside. Let's say one of those people were the woman that didn't get pushed off because of the babysitting and they made her report back the next day because they can do that. They're going to, those two people are going to be fined $500 each. And we were all like, <gasps> we all gasped. We're like, oh my goodness gracious. All right, they're actually, and this judge was super cool. So I was definitely surprised when that happened. So show up. Definitely show up. So I was cut on day two. So were a lot of the other jurors in the box, the 18 originals out of all the other 60. The other people just sit there with their thumbs twiddling, but the judge wants you to pay attention. They don't want you on your phone, etc. They want you silencing your phone while you're in the actual courtroom. So I was the first one to get cut. I was very honest and open with past experiences. I am a full-time YouTuber and I am on social media. I don't know if that affected their decision to pick me or not. Regardless, I was cut, so were a bunch of others. So about 20 minutes into the second day, I was cut, but I got paid for the full entire day. Now I'm self-employed and even though I'm self-employed, a hardship about that, the judge wouldn't dismiss me just because I'm self-employed. But good news, I was paid the full amount and they only pay you, if I forgot to mention, they only pay you 34 cents a mile one way, not both ways. So you're only paid one way. To I got my check about a week and a half after I was dismissed. They sent it to my updated address, which is this address. I'll cover up my address there, but we got a whopping $21.46. 
You do have the option when you fill out your profile if you want to get paid or not. You don't have to. You can dismiss it and say you don't want it, but I don't know anybody that doesn't want free money. And for your employer, they also give you a per day proof of showing up and they look like this. I Again, two days, October 9th, October 10th. So you can prove to your employer that you are actually at jury duty etc. And lastly, let's say for some oddball reason you didn't, you called in and they wanted you to show up the next day at 9 a.m. and you're like, I don't even want to do this. I'm just not going to go. Worst case scenario, they could fine you for not even showing up for that first day to be potentially selected. I was doing some research of my own online and some people said that they actually sent like almost like a ticket out that they had to report to court and prove to a judge and say why they didn't show up. Others said that they just got another notice later on saying you better show up this time and I definitely would that time but I wouldn't take the risk you're eventually gonna have to do it bite the bullet and hopefully these tips are gonna help you go into jury duty again my personal experience was I rather sleep in I rather work from home on my other projects it is pretty interesting once you get a little bit more involved in the picking process the judge even said it sometime when you're cut even though you wanted to be originally cut sometimes you're like ah bummer I was kind of invested in this this was kind of you know interesting so hopefully the video has helped you guys smash the thumbs up that's just my experience from jury duty and I thank you guys so much for watching till the end smash that subscribe button as well I got a lot more videos on the channel check it out I'll see you guys on the next one my name is Chris we'll see you then have a great day bye bye